the most important question. I have my cold lemon water tea. Oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really refreshing. I've just got the biggest mug of builders, British builders tea. That is so, what a great mug. <laughs> nearly the size of my head. And you've been spending a lot of time in the UK as you've been filming uh, Doctor Strange. How, yeah. how do you find how do you find the UK? Well, I love I, I would live there if there are like some easy like visa thing. Really? I would. Yes, I, I, it's a it's a constant conversation. I love England so much. And I and I've even looked into like the retirement visa in England, like how old do you have oh, to wow. be? Or then there's another visa where you can have worked there for a certain amount of years consecutively. And I've totally looked into it. So I love England. And I was there for lockdown two and three. Oh. And I was there like for, like I landed the day lockdown two was announced. <laughs> That's when I landed. <laughs> and then I, I was landed. there. So like to like just when restaurants were opening up outside and that's when I left. <laughs> oh no. And I still love England. <laughs> <laughs> well that's something. So oh, oh, I must say congratulations on your Emmy nomination. Thank you. And uh, 23 whopping nominations for one division as well. So huge. I think enough. that's what really gets like that's what really moved me. I was I, I was so excited for so many reasons. Our, our, we had such a positive experience filming this as a collective and everyone worked so hard and really cared about the larger picture and really cared about all of the details and the communication was top notch. And there's like a fluidity between departments that you just don't always have. And so that it was like a, I get chills thinking that because it's so impressionable, but because it was like a collective experience of nominations, I was totally, I was way more excited about everyone else than yeah. myself. Um, and that, that still to this day just makes me feel so good thinking about all of these people who worked so hard in so many different departments getting recognized. And yeah. it just, that just blew me away. Yeah. Coming from a theater background, um, do you feel more collaborative in that way? Because I don't know, for me, because I come from a theater background as well. And I, and I, so for me, like that collective experience and everyone yeah. working together and, and it being everyone's success, not just one person, like that, that's, that's what I really love. That's what I love too. I mean, I love team sports. I love ensemble anything. Like I just think everything should be fluid. There shouldn't be a lot of secrets. I feel like often actors are like, like earmuffed from what's actually going on. And that bothers me a lot. And so like, I kind of like get in there and ask lots of questions. <laughs> um, and um, I do, but I do, but the, uh, the funny thing was, is WandaVision, we all, um, a lot of the like main players and our director all come from theater. And so it really felt like we're a little actor troupe. Our, our, our director, Matt Shackman is um, the artistic director at the Geffen in LA. And so he's, so, so that's like his, but he also like, grew up on sitcoms. So like he's kind of done everything, but um, he, then Catherine went to school for theater. Paul went to school for theater. Tiana Paris went to school for, so we all have, I went to school for theater. So we all have this kind of actory troop vibe already, mm -hmm. which was, um, which was fun. But I do think you can get that with people who just have a similar mindset as opposed to like at, like formal training or something. People who just like also like that aspect, but don't come from that kind of background. I mean, you've been you've been doing this for since you were very young. Not professionally. I've just been playing since I was very young. Professionally, I started when I was uh, nineteen. I started understudying while I was in college mm -hmm. um, in theater, and so that's that's kind of when it started for me. But I been playing for a very long time <laughs> <laughs> good way of, of putting it yeah sim similar to me similar to my background 
uh, when you when you think about um, the career that you've had, was there was there someone or something in particular that kind of helped you start your career? I mean, obviously, I've been lucky coming to LA to have this BAFTA newcomers program. Was there some something or someone for you? Yeah, it was. Um, it was the it was the theater school I went to. I went to the Atlantic Theater Company um, through NYU. And that's how I started understudying because they have a theater company and um, they would, my first audition was for uh, Gary Hines from the Druid Theater Company to, to understudy Lieutenant, of, no, not Lieutenant Vinishmore, it was Cripple Vinishman and, or Cripple Vinishman. And I didn't get the job, but the casting director met me and then asked me to audition for a different job to understudy. And that's how I met my agent. And so their support of me, because they would, there are very few students that they would support, that they would ask to audition for these opportunities. Right. And um, I was a very diligent and like disciplined student and cared a lot. And I always had something to prove. <laughs> so I always worked really hard. Um, and so their support for me is, is what, what I think completely started my career. So I'm very grateful to all my, all my teachers there and to that whole community at the Atlantic. Do you have a dream role then? Do you like doing Shakespeare's? I, 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 ha I have done, I did uh, an off-Broadway version of Romeo and Juliet, which was a shit show. And <laughs> I, I mean, it was a total shit show. It like we rehearsed a play and then the moment we were in tech, our director decided to reblock the whole play. In tech. And, yeah. And you have three days in off-Broadway and and that makes you feel a bit sick in my mouth <laughs> it was awful I mean it was really felt so abandoning you know the whole it was just such a horrible experience but I really enjoyed doing it but my dream roles are like are older it's um uh, I want to do George and Martha so badly for who's afraid of Virginia Woolf and I and I would love um to do long day's journey oh yeah would love to do that play but all you know all things like I feel like while I'll I'll probably have already like stopped doing this job <laughs> when I'm able to but I but I do those are my those are my dream roles that I've had but they're all I just have to be older I think it's good to have dream roles when you're older because it, it keeps the dream alive but like Yelena I feel like I could do Uncle Vanya I feel like that's something I would like to play Renevskaya could be kind of young and cherry orchard, like those kinds of parts I would love to get to play. But I, I really need to squeegee off my bad um, <laughs> and Juliet experience and like cleanse myself of it so I can, so I can uh, be brave again and do theater. <laughs> Thank you so much. And yes, congratulations again on your nomination. And I will have my fingers crossed for you. Thank and, you. And for the other 22 nominations as well. Thank you. Happens.